In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a guitar YouTube channel that brings in as much as $10,000 or more. So be sure to watch this entire video to learn how to get started step by step. Hello, this is startthechannel.com where we show you step by step how to start successful YouTube channels. So this is what we are going to cover today. We are going to pick a niche and I'm going to explain exactly what that is. And I'm going to explain why you need to niche down the very beginning. Next, we are going to talk about the equipment that you need and determine your brand colors. After that, we are going to work on your channel art and do keyword research so that you can start getting viewers and subscribers. After that, we are going to create videos, create video thumbnails, and discuss your upload schedule. Finally, we are going to conclude with sharing on social media and five ways to make money with your YouTube channel and why you should consider getting a website in the very beginning. So here are a few examples of successful guitar YouTube channels. As you can see here, I typed in how to play guitar and there are a tons of options out there. For example, this YouTube channel here has over 766,000 subscribers and she's talking about different tips on playing guitar. And so her channel is actually more kind of like a vlog style. As you can see, one of her videos here that she uploaded one week ago, she hung out with Taylor Swift and she actually does interviews and she does all sorts of stuff. But this channel here, Andy Guitar, he does how to's. He shows you how to play like Ed Sheeran or a popular pop artist. And this is what I mean when I recommend that you pick a niche. In the very beginning, because you have no viewers, you have no subscribers, I recommend that you pick a niche and go. Your niche could be tutorials, how to play guitar, how to play different strings, how to play, you know, electric guitar, things of that nature. Or you can, you can actually play different songs. Now, when you play songs, you want to be very careful so that you're not getting copyright strikes or you're not getting um, copyright claims, which can happen if you are playing songs that are copyrighted. For example, if you decide to play Taylor Swift and you know one of her songs, you're on the issue of a copyright claim and that can be a bad thing if you start monetizing your channel. So make sure that you pick a niche and then niche down. So and I'll show you in just a moment how and why you should niche down with a simple example of how to play guitar. As you can see here, this is a very generic term. This is a term that a lot of people are going to create content on and it's going to prevent you from being successful. So if we go over here, we talked about picking a niche and niching down. The next thing that you want to do is get the necessary equipment. The equipment that you need really depends on how you create your YouTube channel or the direction you want to go with your channel. For example, at the very least, if you are doing a guitar YouTube channel, you probably want a decent microphone and you want a video recording software and you probably want some sort of camera. Now, the second link in the description has a complete list of everything that I recommend for your channel to, to just get started. Now, I do say, I do recommend that you should start where you are. If you have no money to invest, you just have your smartphone and a guitar, you can start with your smartphone and then reinvest later. However, if you do have some money to invest, I recommend going with a decent camera and a decent camera. Again, that second link in the description has a list of all of my recommendations. The other thing that you want to consider too is video editing software. This is going to allow you to actually create the videos and then upload them into YouTube. You can start for free with this video editing software here. It's called openshot.org. If you have a Mac or an Apple computer, you can use QuickTime and iMovie to create your videos. And what I recommend also is to think about something called B-roll. Now B-roll is going to be video overlay based on your, your topic. And so what you can do is you can use a website like Pexels and find different B-roll that you can add right to your video editing software that's going to make your videos more engaging. You can use a free service like Pexels to get started, or you can use a premium service called Storyblocks. And if we just paste in Storyblocks just like this, you can see that they actually have a ton of of videos with people playing the guitar. Now you can type in just about any keyword and find something. The difference between Storyblocks and Pexels is Storyblocks is paid. They have both high definition and 4K resolution. They have different frame rates and they actually have a video maker embedded. So you can actually do everything right from Storyblocks. You can upload your own videos and then integrate the videos on Storyblocks as well. So those are the primary differences. And I recommend at the very least, if you can afford it, get a decent microphone and a decent camera. Again, if you can't afford it, start with your smartphone and upgrade over time. If we go back over to our slide deck. The next thing that you want to do is determine your brand colors. Branding is important if you want to get started and have a dedicated following. People are going to come to your YouTube channel and look at your brand colors and say, yes, I identify with this person. I want to subscribe or they're going to say, no, this person isn't for me. 
based on your brand colors. Now, when you are getting started, you want a targeted focused audience. You don't just want everyone to subscribe because that will hurt you down the line. If you look here, you can see she has three main colors and then white, of course, um, for her channel art. And this channel here has a little bit more basic, just a picture of, of him holding a guitar and the guitar string. So if we look at this, you want to do something like this. This is going to help you grow and build a dedicated audience. And if you have no idea when it comes to colors and branding, you can go over to a website called the Canva Color Palette and you can find all sorts of palettes that have been put together for you. This will make your life much easier. What you'll do is you'll just go through, find one that you like, click on it, and it's going to give you an example. As you can see here, this is what the color palette looks like. You can then copy these colors and put them on an Excel spreadsheet, or you can start working on the next step, which is your channel art. Now your channel art consists of the banner, which I showed you her banner right here. This is her banner, the logo also, and then the thumbnails. Now you can either do your channel art yourself. So as you can see, I typed in YouTube thumbnails. If I type in YouTube channel art, you're going to see there are both free and premium templates that you can download and use on Canva. Now I actually have the third link in the description that explains channel art more in depth. But as you can see, there are tons of options that you can use for free. If you don't have the time or don't have the patience for design, you can use a website like Fiverr. And as you can see, I typed in YouTube channel art here and they have people that are willing to do it for as little as five or $10. You just give them the color combination that you found in the previous step and you tell them the direction say, Hey, look, my channel is about guitars or how to play guitars. And they're actually going to come up with something for you. And usually they're pretty quick about it within 24 to 48 hours. They'll have something for you that you can accept or reject. Make sure that you have your channel art taken care of before jumping on to the next step. The next step is to simply do keyword research. Now, keyword research is important when you first get started simply because, as I mentioned a few times already, you don't have any followers. You don't have any people that are dedicated to watching your videos. And so what you want to do to get discovered, to start building that following is to do keyword research. That's a simple act of figuring out what people want to know. There's two ways to do keyword research. There's the easy way and the hard way. Let me show you the hard way right now. So the hard way is I just type in how to play guitar, as you can see here, and I hit enter. This is a very competitive space. There are millions of views on each one of these. As a new YouTuber, it's going to be a struggle for you. And what we can do is we can go back here and hit the space bar. And you can see people are asking all of these questions when it comes to playing a guitar. The question would be is how do you know which of these keywords to choose as a new YouTuber? What I recommend that you do is click the fourth link in the description. It'll actually take you over to a free Chrome extension that you can download right to your computer that will help you out with keyword research. So we're going to go over to keyword explorer and I'm going to type in how to play guitar once again, as you can see. And it's going to tell me the overall score. So the chances of me ranking for this keyword is actually very good, which is surprising. What we can do is we can go over here and say how to play guitar chords. And maybe we can get this to 100 or 90. So I just changed the keyword here to how to play guitar chords. As you can see, it went down a little bit. How to play guitar chords without touching other strings. If we click on that, maybe that'll actually go back up as well. But you want to do this so that, as you can see, 82 there, you want to do this so that you can start building a following and getting views. Getting views obviously is the hardest part with YouTube. And if you just create videos blindly, you're going to struggle. But if you do it this way, get that Chrome extension, which is the fourth link in the description, you'll be able to find success much faster. We jump back over here. The next step is simply to create videos. Now, people come to YouTube because they either want to be entertained or they want to learn something. And if you are creating how to videos, you want to solve that problem. Again, how to play guitar chords, how to play guitar, how to play guitar chords. You're showing them step by step how to do it. Now, again, what I recommend that you do is show them step by step exactly what it is that they want. Also, I recommend that you change the camera angle every seven to 15 seconds. The reason why you want to change it every seven to 15 seconds is that it will actually help with engagement and retention. People will start to lose focus. They'll start to wander. But if you can change the camera angle, actually add in some like funny noises as well, that'll bring people back. And that's the benefit of using something like Pexels to help keep people engaged. Or if you want, as I mentioned, you can use story blocks as well. Doing one of these two will help you out much better. Um, so if we go back over to our 
our slide deck here, the next step is to create the thumbnails. When you are creating your thumbnails, you can either do it for free over on Canva once again. So we can just type in thumbnails and you're gonna see they have a bunch of templates for you to use. These templates are both free and paid, but you can use these. Another option is you can hire someone over on Fiverr for as little as five or $10. Now, when you are just getting started, I recommend that you model your thumbnails off of what's already working. So we typed in how to play guitar. As you can see, most of these people have a full image of themselves holding a guitar and maybe some, some text. And so if you do this, you can actually increase your chances of people clicking and watching. In the beginning, model after what's working because you know it's working. Don't try and reinvent the wheel here. Once you start getting significant subscribers, then you can start doing what you want. But in the beginning, model what's already working. After we have created our thumbnails, the next thing that you wanna do, and this is vitally important to your success on YouTube, is to create an upload schedule. Most people struggle with YouTube because they just don't upload frequently enough. When you're first getting started, I recommend that you upload three times per week until you have traction. Now, this channel, while bigger, is uploading at least three times per week. As you can see here, three times per week, maybe even four. And I recommend that you do the same. Once you start getting to significant subscribers, 10,000 subscribers will say, you can change your upload schedule. But if you're just getting started, you wanna make sure that you're uploading at least three times per week. And one way to help out with that is to batch your content. And basically what that means is sit down one day a week and create all of your videos. If you can create five videos on that one day, then do that. That's gonna help you stay consistent. That's gonna help you not get burnt out. That's gonna help you actually come up with better ideas because you're focusing all of your content on one day instead of trying to do it every single day. We know that life happens and that you can get interrupted. For example, today I'm creating five videos so that I don't have to create a video every single day and be back here day after day trying to create videos. Um, I recommend that you go ahead and upload, uh, batch out your content and then you can upload consistently. The next thing that you wanna do is share your content on social media. In the very beginning, I recommend that you share your content on social media the right way. Most people will share, most people will do this the wrong way and they'll wonder why no one's watching their videos. The wrong way is simply to go over to your Facebook account and just share your content on your personal profile. Most of your friends and family don't care that you have a new YouTube channel. They're not going to be interested in it. They will only become interested once you start getting thousands of subscribers and then they'll want to check you out but what I recommend that you do is I recommend that you go over to Facebook and you can type in guitar you can type in how to play guitar or guitar lessons and then look for Facebook groups in that space so we go down to groups and you're gonna see how to play guitar intended for beginners 13,000 members 40,000 members, 21,000 members. There are tons of people that are looking for different ways to play the guitar. And if you help them first, don't just spam your links, you help them first and then add your YouTube videos, they will be more likely to watch those videos and you can actually build a following much faster. So I think this is the right way to do it. Of course, you can also share your content on Reddit, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, really anywhere. But as long as you go out and find where your target audience is and don't just blindly spam out your links. So if we go back over to our slide deck here, the next thing is we want to look at different ways to make money. Now the fifth link in the description covers multiple ways to make money. We're gonna take a look at a few of those today. One of the obvious ways to make money is with the YouTube Partner Program. With the YouTube Partner Program, you can qualify if you have 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Now I say qualify because there's no guarantee that you get in or get accepted just because you meet those requirements. Again, you could be demonetized for using other people's music or lyrics. There's a lot of issues with that. And I also think that the YouTube Partner Program is the least profitable way to make money. Another potentially better way to make money is with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And the way that affiliate marketing works is you will find affiliate programs that are congruent or in line with your target audience and you will get unique links called affiliate links and you'll put those links in the description of your videos. And when people click on those links and make a purchase, you get paid a commission. Now the key to affiliate marketing is finding products that are congruent. For example, you're talking about guitars, find things that are congruent in the guitar space. Obviously you can recommend guitars, maybe different speakers or amps, things of that nature. You don't want to recommend basketballs because people that are coming to Andy Guitar want to learn about guitar and don't 
care about basketball. So you want to make sure that you are finding things that are congruent. Another way that you can make money is you can sell your own physical or digital products. Now, maybe Andy has put together a course that he's selling for just $5 on how to play the guitar advanced methods. Now, believe it or not, creating YouTube videos and putting in links to your own products is very profitable. So let's assume on his most recent video, he has 5,500 people come and watch that video from just a day ago. We multiply that by 1%. We'll assume just 1% of people will buy. So that's 55 people, 55 times five. We're looking at $275. He made $275 or has the potential to within just one day, uploading a simple $5 course and selling it on his YouTube channel. Now, 275 might not seem like a lot, but if he did that every single day, he's looking at over $100,000 per year and he has multiple videos where he could add that. So think about selling your own physical and digital products. It can be very profitable for you. You can also do brand deals. Maybe the Guitar Center wants to work with you because you, they see your tutorials and they like what you're doing. They'll actually sponsor a few videos and you can make money that way. Now, if we go back over to our slide deck, the last thing that we want to cover today is potentially getting a website. Now, this is optional, but I recommend it simply because if YouTube were to disappear tomorrow, you would be without recourse. You'd be starting over from zero. You would have you would have to figure out how to get that income back. But if you have a website, you can cross promote your website to your YouTube channel and YouTube channel to your, your website, and you can add an additional revenue stream. You can add a blog over to your, you can add a blog to your website and, and reference your blog whenever you talk about your YouTube channel and make additional money. Click the six link in the description if you want to learn more about starting a brand new website. Now be sure to check out the links in the description. The first one is for a free YouTube channel checklist that'll go over everything that you need step by step. The second link in the description actually covers the necessary equipment that you need. Third link is for the channel art. Fourth link is for the free Chrome extension that I referenced earlier. Fifth link are the different ways to make money. And then the sixth link is for the website. Be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.